so happy you are with us. Uh, we're continuing to talk about the X factor. And uh, before we get back to the lessons from imaging, this is from Food Equals Treatment mm, from like the United that. States. There seems to be a lot of confusion among experts on what you should eat. This podcast was really simple and easy to understand. Oh. I'm also reading Memory Rescue, which is a great book by Dr. Amen. Thank you so much for saying that. Bless you. Um, as we talk about our series on Feel Better Fast and Make It Last, um, the X of Brain XL is the X factor. You know, if you're not feeling better fast by doing the simple things that we talked to you about, somebody should look at your brain. And lesson number four is if what you're doing isn't working, you should look. And I tell the story of a case of a guy that had panic disorder, all of a sudden came out of nowhere and he tried Xanax and it didn't work. He tried Prozac, this. became suicidal. And, and this was a highly, highly successful person. And when we looked at his brain, it was very clear he had a brain injury. Right. And it's like, so when did you have a brain injury? And he said, I never did. And I'm like, well, are you sure? Have you ever? We've talked about that on the podcast a lot. And two weeks before he had his panic attack, he had a mountain biking accident in the Santa Monica Mountains and damaged the left front side of his brain. And the idea was take him off the psych meds, put him on treatments to rehabilitate his brain. And he just did remarkably better. Mm -hmm. So if you don't look, you don't know. Um, the next lesson was looking at the brain improves outcomes and people get better faster. Um, looking at the brain, this is lesson number six, completely changes the discussion about oh, for good sure. and evil. And <laughs> changes <laughs> like this just creates the discussion in our house. It's just it's, it's, there's good a lot of tension. and evil. A lot so, of tension. The redhead in my life loves to, you know, well, people are bad. And you, no, you no, just, no, no. <laughs> you don't get to no. It's not black and white. But I absolutely ah, it's not black and white. Notice that she said it is not black. The and discussion white. is not black and white. But there is definitely evil, and people still must pay for their actions. So they must pay absolutely there is responsibility. And the responsibility must match the crime. Sorry. <laughs> so I said it. So I was in a death penalty. But case. that does not mean where this work has changed, softened my heart, is that I do it's hard agree to soften it steel. is it is, yes. Because <laughs> I've often said I was the judge, jury, and the executioner. Okay. I admit it. I said it. Not a nice thing to say, but it's the truth. Um, especially I just where, married a prettier version. Especially, of my especially where children are concerned. Any crimes against children? I just had zero, zero. Um, yeah, there's no room. But, but where the discussion comes in is that when you do know that someone has a really bad brain, they still have to pay for the crime. I'm sorry, but. At the same time, when you see that they they do have trouble. Now, this is where the system is completely broken because we leave no, there is no room for someone to be at all rehabilitated. Not at all. No, I don't think they should get out at all. Never, never going to happen. All right. We're not doing this in a straight line. Okay. I'm just saying. I know. So th the idea in this part of the lesson, the lesson I learned, like I had no opinion on the death penalty until 1991 when I started looking at people's brains. You know, growing up Catholic, the Catholic Church was against it. But um, I really didn't think about it. But when we started looking at the brain, attorneys began to send people to us and go, why did this person do this awful thing? And out of the hundred murderers I've scanned, um, about 95 of them have really terrible looking brains. But that means five of them don't. And there are a lot of people who have terrible looking brains that never do anything bad. Right. See, this and is where so, it gets complicated. But is it really the sign of an evolved society to kill sick people? And mm, Okay, but you have to let wait, me respond. Me if you're going to say that, you need to let me respond. Let me finish. You don't get to make that comment without letting me respond. 
This is not a debate. It's it a is. Podcast. You don't get to comment and not let me respond. You married a redhead in your words. <laughs> so. so I was... Um, Still going to respond. In a death penalty case where I testified. And this guy was terrible. He killed four people in 11 days while he did a methamphetamine run. And it was planned, it was purposeful, and his brain was devastated. And when you understand the story of his life, um, so I'm on the witness stand, and George was the prosecutor, and he didn't like me because I'm giving the jury a reason to have mercy. Um, Now, just because you have a bad brain doesn't mean you didn't do it, doesn't mean you didn't plan to do it, And doesn't mean you're not responsible for it. And so I talked to the jury about his very damaged brain. And the prosecutor, sort of like you, was irritated with me. And he said, Dr. Eamon, um, I understand you grew up Catholic. I'm like, yes, sir. He said, well, as a Catholic, don't you believe in evil? And... I stopped and I thought about it. And then I looked at the jury and I said, yes, sir, I do believe in evil. But I'd never call anybody evil unless I could scan them first. (laughs) And the jury laughed and George turned red and he was mad at me. And behavior is complicated. And uh, you're kicking me. And I'm still going to respond to the comment about it's not a sign of an evolved society. But we still need to protect the innocent. We need to protect them. The laws are there for a reason. And we can't... But it doesn't mean I would advocate for Lewis to go home. Right. Absolutely not. But hold on. But that's sometimes... And that's this is where it gets murky. We have to be careful. Okay? Because what ends up happening is the way the system is designed, oftentimes in order for them to protect people who are... If you try to start saying that they are sick and not hurt, they begin to point fingers at the victims or they make the victims feel like they are the criminals and the criminals like the victims. But the victims. We need to protect the victims. We need to protect the victims. But the fact is most people who go to jail go home. Right. And so we so, should also be rehabilitating them. But we're not. So that when they go home, there's a better chance. No, you and I agree on that. That they can take care of their families. We agree on that. That jobs, doesn't happen. Pay though. taxes. Doesn't happen yet. Um, so I always think of this as a very conservative idea. So if someone hurt my um, daughter and they got out, whether it was on this argument or not, I would be waiting for them when they got out. Just it's on film. Just say it. So I actually, um, and you can read the book to learn more lessons from imaging. But what I did is we sent an email out to our patients and we said, what were the big lessons you learned from imaging? And I just want to read you a couple. Um, One, prior to having my scan, I was misdiagnosed and then mistreated. After having my scans, I have a new life. Yes. So I love that part. Um, I learned as an adult that I still have lasting brain effects from heart surgery I had as an Mm, infant. Yes. It helped explain many of my struggles and gave me direction on how to get help. Yep. If I didn't see the damage to my brain, I wouldn't have taken actions needed to make it better. Um, The first scan helped me realize I wasn't crazy. It made total sense. I had focus and anxiety issues but I had never admitted them to myself. The second scan three months later verified that the supplements and dietary changes had calmed my brain dramatically, which is why I was feeling so much better. Another one, I had no idea how I was hurting my brain and my future with the alcohol and Mm, weed. That's a good one. And um, So I want to add one to that. Last one. Your brain wants to heal itself, and given the right conditions, it can. So I want to add one to that. One way that it has changed the way I think, what 
and where this is where this discussion actually I think is most effective is I really this like I think that the big part of the mission for me is in prevention. So this has the ability to help people get treatment before they do these really awful things. Once the awful things are done, you and I are always going to have this discussion. <laughs> Sorry, but I, it has I don't the ability. Think anybody should go home. Hold on, it's not the point. Right. The S point is, the point is, you and I are always going to have disagreements on that. Where we will never disagree is that it has the ability, it has the potential and the power to to prevent some of these awful things. And that is for me the the huge. That's where it's huge. That's where we need to be really pushing on getting people the proper treatment. Because there are signs, these horrible crimes that have been happening, right, with these shootings, in almost every single one of them, there were signs. People knew. They were getting treatment, but they were getting the wrong treatment. You know, the one in Aurora, Colorado, his psychiatrist fired him. It's not like he wasn't trying to get help. And that's what's it's not because fair. we we're working on the wrong paradigm. Right, and that is what is the not The paradigm fair. is this is mental health, which implies you know, snap out of it. And that's, but that's where it's and not fair. And it's brain health. Right. Stay with us. Use the code PODCAST10 to get a 10% discount on a full evaluation at amenclinics.com or on our supplements at brainmdhealth.com. Thank you for listening to the Brain Warriors Way podcast. Go to iTunes and leave a review and you'll automatically be entered into a drawing to get a free signed copy of The Brain Warrior's Way and The Brain Warrior's Way Cookbook we give away every month.